What's up, everybody? This is a video write-up for the Challenge Validator for 30 points in the reverse engineering category from TJCTF, the recent Capture the Flag competition. Challenge prompt is, I found a flag validation program. Do what you want with it. So we have a link here. We can download it. I'll hop over to the terminal. We can play with it. It is just simply noted as flag check, so I will save it as that. Mark it as executable because it sounds like this is a binary. In fact, it is, so we can go ahead and run it. It says usage flag check flag. Mm, okay, it needs an argument. We can say please sub. It says invalid flag. So I wanted to check out, okay, what is this doing? I'll check ltrace with it. It says it's trying to work with strlen, and that's not moving on anything following that, so I actually tried to uh, do some spray and pray, like actually brute force what a possible length could be. So what I did in that case was I did 4i in range like 1 to 50, and then I would supply that in as some Python print like a multiplied by that i value so we could get a, a ton of input for it, etc, etc, etc. And we got one result over here that looks like length, I guess I don't know, uh, we can actually echo the length that we're working with if we wanted to check it out, blah, 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 blah. One result here where it is testing what seems to be the flag here, TJCTF, just call me as Sir God for something. And that, okay, it looks like to be length 43. So if you wanted to do more with this, and this is what I actually moved on to from this because I didn't get the full string in uh, that output with string compare and ltrace. I actually did try to run strings on it, but it is noting some of the strings in very cut up fashion, and it didn't seem to have the very end of the string like a curly brace. So I opened it up in Hopper as a disassembler, and I checked that out in YouTube, CTF, validator, flag check. Cool. You can actually go check out the main function or string compare, or whatever these things are, main, great. Alt, enter to reverse engineer it. And you can see a lot of the hex bytes in there. If you wanted to carve these out, you certainly could. In fact, I'll do that just to showcase it. Let's try and do some sublime text magic to just cut up the very end of these lines here. Cool. Control X to remove zero X. Didn't want to remove those, get all these new lines here, and then we can idle, go ahead and remove these to decode, blah, 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 hex. And that looks like our flag jumbled up. So that was very strange. And I wasn't sure why, probably some Endian thing that I, we could go through and run P32 on all these if we particularly wanted to, do some pwn tools magic. And I tried that. And this will get us a bit of the flag, but note that there'd be something different that w tripped up some people, I think, when they were playing, and it certainly tripped me up. I'm sorry for this agony. I did not mean to have this suck so bad. Okay, we can run P32 on 0x of these, and at the end there, note this. So we can just make this a little script. Get our shebang line going. And once we have the flag all set, we can just print that out. We can run it. And it says, okay, TJCTF, just call me reverse god from now on. You could supply that and try and enter that as the flag, but it will be wrong. In fact, the program will even tell you that that is the wrong flag if we try to give that to flag check. And you can see that that is because when we ran ltrace on it, it had a peculiar thing. Uh, it would actually just go ahead and tell us that, hmm, the string that you're comparing this with has an interesting notion where that word reverse in lead speak is actually reversed. So that is the flag that you want to use. An interesting thing that I found when I tried to research some of this, if you wanted to give Ltrace a certain amount of string characters that it's willing to print out, you can supply an argument tack my, like under like lowercase s and you can display the amount of string size or the maximum string size that you want Ltrace to print out for you. So if we ran Ltrace with, again, when we were brute forcing it and we didn't have any idea what it might have been, we know it's 43 now, but if we wanted to say, okay, use like a thousand characters for a full-on string notation, you can get the entire flag just by using that syntax. That's pretty handy. So that 
assembly, disassembly code, stuff that we saw in Hopper must be doing something to obviously go through some reversal with that portion of the flag. And we found that. We tracked it down and we were able to handle it. Again, with P32, just looking at it in string compare and L trace, and that's an interesting thing. So there's that. We can mark that challenge as complete. I want to give a special shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for everything that you do. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 a month on more on Patreon will give you early access to every video that I release on YouTube before it goes live. If you did like this video, you want to see more other CTF video write-ups, programming tutorials, other stuff that I do, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server. Link is in the description. It's a cool community of CTF players, programmers, hackers. So if you want to, want to play a game with me or some other cool people, please do check that out. Hey, I'd love to see you on Patreon, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.